what's up people so I want to talk about trannies and there's a reason why I want to talk about them um, first off the whole tranny thing has died down after the Bruce Jenner situation so I think it's it's time I, I talk about it you know um, I'm from Hollywood East Hollywood to be exact so in growing up in Hollywood on the east side it was a very strange place. Now, I'm a 80s baby, 90s kid. So the 90s in Hollywood was very broken up into categories. Like the rest of LA wasn't used to seeing the transsexuals. But us in LA, we were accustomed to seeing transsexuals, homosexuals whatever and the way it was broken up in the 90s was Santa Monica Boulevard was where the trannies hung out that's where they went clubbing that's where they sold ass that's where they were Sunset Boulevard was where the gay people were and that's where they partied, that's where they picked up hookers, that's where they sold ass and did drugs and everything. And then you had Hollywood Boulevard, which was just, I guess, straight people went to party, picked up hookers and whatnot. And being from Hollywood, we knew if someone is picking up a hooker on Santa Monica, they're in for, for a wild night because they either accidentally pick them up or they purposely pick them up. Hey, not my cup of tea, but it's who I might have judged. I, I'm with that live and let live policy, you know? If I don't like it, I will stay away. Now, there's more. Now, there was a time I moved to South LA uh, Rampart Metro um, I stayed in a place called City Heights it was an apartment complex now in this apartment complex because we lived there we knew you know, like I, I was out and about all the time I hung out with the security I was just young like I was from Hollywood we, we, we were used to being out in the streets you know what I'm saying so there's this tranny uh, woman, I guess. Um, we knew she was a tranny. No one else did. He would come down in a G-string and a dong. There was two big swimming pools, four jacuzzis, weight room, sauna, everything. But this dude used to come. We knew it was a dude. Well, it, 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 he wasn't a dude. She, uh, I don't fuck. And so she would come down and she said she had this like the works, the full surgery. If you if you ran in, there is no fucking way you would know. The only thing that stood out on her that was masculine was her arms. Her arms were. She was thin, you know, but her arms were just. A little too muscular not the upper arms but like dudes arms are different you know what I'm saying so she had her jaw shaved down no Adam's apple breast implants no cock everything like everything looked like a woman except it, it genetically wasn't right um this girl, man, used to bring a dude home every single week. A different dude. And nobody knew. None of them knew. She would just bring them, like one night stands, bring them home, whatever did her thing, and we would see them leave, come and go. We, we kicked it out there, so we, we knew it was coming and going, you know? And... One time, man, 
the, this this Armenian dude is walking with her and has his arms like all around or like around her and walking to the apartment and he's just like mad dogging the shit out of us you know so we're just laughing as he's mad dogging us because we know and it's like you know if if you weren't if you didn't carry yourself so arrogantly and like such a fucking dick I could have warned you in Armenian, but you chose to be such a fucking prick. And she noticed. That's the funny thing. She noticed how he was carrying himself, and she noticed that we noticed. So she brought him for a week straight. And on the seventh day, I never seen anyone walk out of the, that apartment complex so dumbfounded and so uh, just not themselves it was like a different complete different human being walked out i think she broke the news to this dude and this dude was just i don't know i, I don't think he was i think he was beyond mad like i think he was just questioning his uh his his sexuality and his mental fucking state <laughs> that had to have fucked up some screws, you know. So, um, this is my opinion on the on the tranny situation. Okay, my opinion, and this is me because I I seen trannies growing up from since a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like. First off, uh, everyone is entitled to be whoever the fuck they want to be, man. You want to be a furry, dress up like a cat, a tiger, a lion, and walk around. Go right fucking ahead. It, it doesn't move me left or right. You do you, I'm going to do me. Stay the fuck out of my business. I'm going to stay the fuck out of yours, you know? It's like, see no evil, hear no evil. Shut the fuck up and don't speak no evil, right? Like, just mind your own business. That, like, that, that, that was our thing. Like, what the fuck is it to you? That's a 90s saying, you know? The fuck's it to you, bro? Just keep it moving, man. None of your business. My opinion on the tranny thing is, like, I, I don't give a fuck about it unless it's going to affect me. And how would that affect me? Because I'm a straight man, okay? I don't want to be in a predicament where I think I'm with a girl and she's a man. Because I've, I've just told you the story, right? Of what, what this girl you would do, this guy girl would do, right? Her business, you know? Uh, she's obviously like... If that happened to me, her life might be in, in serious danger. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would not take that very lightly. Like, I think it's only normal you you tell people certain things, you know? Like, if, if you had syphilis or some shit, you, you tell me if you have syphilis. Like, and let me make the decision if I want to sleep with you or not. If you were once a man at one point in your life, I'd like to know that. You know, if you have a choking fetish, like, let let me know so that uh, you're, you don't fucking just choke me in the middle of shit, you know? And I start fucking thinking, maybe, maybe I have PTSD, you choke me and I fucking wig out, you know? Or tell me if you do have, you like being choked, that way I know I can choke you or not, right? So there's things like common courtesy, right? Tell me you were dating my best friend, so I, I I know not to date you. You know what I'm saying? Like there's certain shit you you tell people. Um, and I think it comes down to that. Uh, like I don't think it's about rights. I don't think it's about any of that because everyone already has the rights. Everyone is already equal. All that shit. Everything else is just it's in your head. 
if you think this country, the United States, doesn't have equality, it's all in your fucking head. There, there's no law that's designed to benefit me as a straight white male any more than anybody fucking else. I don't care if you're a woman, if you're Chinese, you're a tranny, you're handicapped, whatever. The only limitations you have are the ones that you put on yourself, you know? So it's not about legality because legally we're all equal. Now, physically, is every are like is everybody equal? No, physically everybody isn't equal. I'm not equal to Michael Jordan. I can't fucking run down the court like like him and fucking dunk on on people like a Shaquille O'Neal. I'm not a fucking Shaq. I'm not eight feet fucking tall, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. Um, who else can I say that that's like an extreme athlete? Uh, why are athletes not coming into my head? Okay, so I'm not. I'm, I can't put words together like Tupac. I can't put words together like Shakespeare. I can't do what a lot of people, right, have done. Men, women, trannies, gays, what well, it doesn't fucking matter, right? Wait, like, everyone has natural gifts. I have natural gifts. I'm good at certain shit that other people struggle with, that I, I am just naturally great at. And then there's other things other people are great at that I will struggle with. Okay, so the only limitation is what I put on myself. Now, if I want to work hard at something, get somewhere, it's all good. But in terms of rights, the rights are already given, man. You know, um, it comes down to just like, would you fuck it? Right? Like in terms, in very simple terms. Okay, it's like, as a straight dude, okay, do you like blondes? Do you like brunettes? Do you like everybody? Do you like plus size? Do you like skinny? Do you like dark? Do you like light? Do you like tall? Do you like short? Right, there's a variety of people, man. People are like food. It's like, it's a variety out there, right? So it's about... Would, what would you fuck? What are you into, right? So as an individual, like, your rights end where mine, mine starts, mine begins, right? And it's not my cup of tea. Like, if I'm into black chicks and I have this beautiful black girl naked, and she unzips and pops out to be the whitest white girl I've ever seen, I would be pissed, okay? On the, on the other side, if, you, if I liked white girls and you unzipped and you were dark as night, I would be pissed, right? If I like tits and fucking you had your push-up bra, Stuffed it with all types of tissues, all kinds of shit, and I'm looking at like quadruple D's. And when I take that bra off, you're I have a bigger chest than you do because I exercise and shit, and you're fucking flat chested. I would be pissed. You fucking lie to me. You you fucking lie to me, and it, and it comes down to sex, right? Like you actually lie to me about something that's important. Where I want to stick my dick in. That's what it comes down to. In my opinion. And I think that's what this entire topic is really about. And no one wants to talk about that part of this entire topic. The legality. The inequality. The mental disorders. The suicide rates. All that shit. I, I don't want to talk about none of that. 
I don't want to talk about none of that. And I don't want to talk about any of that because it's not my struggle. I'm not the one holding people down. I'm not, I don't think, like, dude, I, I faced racism growing up my entire life. I, I've been fucking, uh, people have always judged me by how I look, you know? I look intimidating as fuck and I don't do it on purpose. I've always looked like that. You know, uh, like I'm Armenian in LA, dude, with a bald head. I've had a bald head since I was like 12 years old. Not naturally bald, but like shaved my head, you know? And like, dude, people profile you like a motherfucker. The amount of racism I've dealt with in LA is fucking ridiculous, but no one's ever held me down. You know, no one's ever like told me you can't do this because you're Armenian. You know, but I've had to deal with the everyday bullshit of human bullshit, right? Like, people are just shitty creatures. I know that. I know that. And your your own people are shitty. My own people are shitty. 99% of the population is just shitty, man. It's like, it's a bag of bad apples. And hopefully, if you look deep enough in the bag you will pull out a good apple and every race every creed every sex every group is like that in my opinion a whole bunch of rotten fruit but if you dig deep enough in the bag you will find a really nice shiny fruit you know if that makes sense i hope that analogy makes sense and it doesn't have a color, it doesn't have a language, it doesn't have uh, a, a sex or a sexual preference or a look. It just across the board, that's just how people are, man. You know, um, it, it's fucked up that it's like that, but people are, are just, just like that. They're just crummy inside, most everybody. It's very few people that, that, that aren't, you know? And when you do find those people, I suggest you hold on to them regardless of what, you know? And, um, yeah, 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 it, it's important to hold on to those, those good people, man, because they are hard to come by. And, um, I'll say this, man, like, so being Armenian in LA, right, something I've always hated that people have done to me or, or said to me is I've hated when people have complimented my race or ethnicity and uh, and I, I've hated that when people have done that to me oh you're, oh, you're me and oh you know you guys fucking are and something fill it in with something positive right because in my head as soon as i hear you say something positive like about me in terms of race and ethnicity and it's like you don't really fucking know me for me right so if you're telling me the good things in your head there's a whole bunch of bad things that you don't like about our means you're not looking at me for me you you, you completely profiled me and you labeled me and by you telling me these good things, you're telling me that in your head are also a whole bunch of fucked up things that you're not telling me, you know? I've hated that. Like, me personally, so even amongst Armenians, I don't know how other people are, I would assume, this is a me thing, this is a me thing, this is my problem, right? Like, where I don't like it when Armenians other Armenians even are like you know what um this and this Armenian did this and this great thing they this one Armenian invented this amazing thing this one Armenian is this amazing fucking athlete or some shit and they take pride in that and I don't see it. I'm like, I'm a person like, I don't root for the Lakers. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that wears a Laker jersey. I'm not one of those people that wears 
a Raiders hat or a Dodger, Dodgers fucking jersey or or any I won't like I don't I don't get my jollies off of off of these this team shit you know I don't get my jollies off of it at all and the reason why is it's not me it's not my people it's not, by my people I mean it's not my friends on that court it's not the people I like and there is a very handful of people I like. And it's none of them on those teams. Those Armenians that did great things. They're not my friends. I don't know those people from fucking shit. I don't, I don't know them. Just because they're Armenian. I don't fucking know them. Just because I live in LA doesn't mean I like the fucking Lakers. I don't know any of the fucking Lakers. I don't know. I, I like the Rams because I had a neighbor... That was a former Rams defensive lineman. A defensive or offensive? I think it was a defensive lineman. Anthony Slayton. This man was like a, a father figure type when I was growing up. This man taught me so much game. Amazing fucking human being. Because he was in the Rams. I like the Rams. But he's not playing in the Rams no more. You get what I'm saying? But when I knew him, he was already retired. He, he was just an amazing human being. And he's out there helping people. He, that, that man is actually, I think he, he went... And started working at YMCA. We started working with kids and helping kids that that are trying to join gangs and stuff. So amazing human being, inside and out. Had a, uh, just one of the smartest people I've ever met. One of them physically. This dude looked like Shug Knight, man. He, he really looked like Shug Knight at that at that point in time. Just massive human. From the back, he was like a brick wall with a head. He didn't even have a neck. But just this general giant that was one of the most smartest people I've ever met who just, he knew something about everything. And I wanted to be like that, you know? And the amount of game this man gave me, just amazing human, I'm deflecting. So, like, if he was playing in the Rams during that time, I would go and I would root for the Rams. But because I don't know any of those, like, I don't get jolly, I, I can't connect myself. Like, I can't take any credit for anything another Armenian has done, another Los Angelino has done. I can't take credit for someone else's actions, you know? I don't care how much they look like me, sound like me, or from where I'm from, it, it, unless, you're mine, you're my friend, you're my girlfriend, you're my parents, you're my sister, you're my neighbor. You, you get what I'm saying? Unless you're mine, I, I I can't really like root like that. Like it, it's it's not. I don't. I'm. It just it's a me thing. Like I said, that's my problem. So I'm gonna end it on that note. If if that helps anybody in terms of if you're going through something where you feel like you're being held down in one way shape or form it's in your head you at the end of the day you're holding yourself down i've said it in numerous videos and i and i and i stand by what i say in terms of you are born free okay the only way you can be enslaved is if you believe you're enslaved. No one can give me rights. There is no piece of paper on earth that can give me rights. I was born with rights. That piece of paper means nothing. Like, I got married, right? My wife wanted marry, like marriage papers. When we divorced, 
she said she asked me about the papers i said what fucking papers she said we gotta get a divorce on paper i don't give a fuck there's no there's no paper out there that's gonna say i'm married or i'm divorced if that you believe that that's your thing and you want the paper no problem i'll sign it i'll do whatever but as far as me i don't give a fuck like we're we're officially divorced because i say and you say and we agree that we are divorced period period that piece of paper if if you want it sure go ahead I'll, I'll leave it married for the rest of my life I don't really give a fuck Whoever I meet If I'm dating them I'm gonna tell them I'm divorced That's it you, you know So that's the way I see everything So If that Helps you And I'm moving the phone Because I don't like recording people I, I like My privacy And therefore I like giving people privacy I don't want to record people Walking in front of me So uh, if If my thought process The way I think if that helps you, great. If it doesn't, I hope you find someone else where you get you you gain something motivational from from it. Like these videos I'm making, I'm making it for myself. Like I have horrible memory and I want to make these videos. I want to put them out there because I feel like if if I say 10 words and nine of them are fucking full of bullshit, but the one helps you and betters you as a human being in your struggle and what you're going through and what you're trying to become, then great, wonderful, I helped you. You know, at least a little part of it helped you. You, you get what I'm saying? That's why I'm doing all this shit. So it's mainly for me. Uh, I'm not gonna lie and say like oh it's it's for the people and all this shit. No, I'm doing it because I enjoy doing it. And the second thing, I hope someone gains something from it. So you guys have a nice day. Stay blessed if you believe you're blessed. Um, be cool if you believe you're cool. Not if you believe you're not. Peace.